Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Pooch Hall. How you doing today, Pooch Hall? Hey, yo, Big Rich. What's up, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Hey, thank you for joining us. Now, you have been doing so much, and I'm super excited to have you on the show. And you've been known for the game, now on Netflix, and yeah. your role as Daryl on the Emmy Award-winning show, Ray Donovan. Pooch, yes. tell us a little bit about your path from Brockton, Massachusetts to Hollywood. Wow. Um, first and foremost, man, uh, I hope everyone out there is safe and, you know, maintaining their sanity the best that they can And because it's been a crazy 2020. So I want to make sure I send a huge shout out to all the peoples out there in the fight. Uh, health workers, um, you know, uh, law enforcement and people trying to get equality. So there's love going out to everyone out there, man. It's just like, it's time to come together, you know? So, um, and I come from a tough, I come from a tough city called Brockton, Massachusetts. I mean, uh, for the people who don't know Brockton, Massachusetts, if you're familiar with boxing, it's the home of uh, Rocky Marciano and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Wow. Um, and Mar yeah, so two two champions, two tough cats, and our motto at, in Brockton is the city of champions. So I'm very proud to be a part of that. So therefore, uh, growing up in Brockton, uh, you had to have a fighter's mentality, and not only a fighter's mentality, you had the will to work to win and become a champion, like you know, like Marvin and uh, Rocky. And so. Um, Massachusetts itself is a, is a great, is a great state, uh, but I'm super proud to be a part of, uh, of Brockton and, and from their east side, born and raised. Um, but Brockton uh, is a place where, you know, it's blue collar and you got to put that work in uh, to get what you want. And, you know, you go after it. Like one of the models of the uh, New England Patriots is like, uh, do your job. You know what I mean? And everyone on the Patriots, uh, they just got the acquisition of Cam Newton. But even when Tom Brady was there, just do your job and we'll win. You know, and that was something that I, you know, uh, I put in my, into my work ethic was to, to, to go after what I wanted, but to work hard, you know what I mean, and do my job. And, you know, when I boxed, you know, my dad used to say, you don't play with boxing. You know what I mean? That you can get hurt and get really, really hurt in there. And I felt like I wanted to be someone from Brockton other than Rocky or Marvin to do something big, you know? And I found, I found Hollywood in a sense. So it, I was always doing things from, you know, whether I was boxing, playing football, rapping, uh, making people laugh. Like I went to Brockton High and uh, I got class clown <laughs> my senior year. So a lot of people, like all my friends back home, they're like, it makes sense that you're in Hollywood doing your thing. So um, you I enjoyed went to, making people laugh, bro. I love to entertain, man. Yeah, I love entertain. And for me, you know, laughter is like the best medicine. And even now in our situation in 2020 having all the things that's going on is like a lot of people are in tough spots to where laughter can take you out of that for a second and bring some good energy, man. Cause there's nothing like laughing and, you know, and that feel good, you know, release of that energy, man. So like being from Brockton, knowing how, how uh, it's a tough town and what you got to do to make it like I was determined. And, you know, they don't call us this, uh, you know, city of champions for nothing. And so for me, like, I feel like a champion, like being on the game, like I really felt like I made it as a pro football player. And then being a boxer on Ray Donovan, I was like, man, I'm getting the best of both worlds. But a lot of it had to do with being from Brockton and my work ethic and, you know, uh, not taking no for an answer. Um, but I put that work in, man, and it's got me here to where, you know, a lot of people know my name now. And, you know, uh, I'm very, very flattered and f fortunate to have a huge fan base. And I really, really appreciate the fans and the support that I get. Well, you get everything you deserve, my friend. And I'm super proud of you. And I know that this is just the beginning. Now, yes, you've got this incredible app. What drew mm -hmm. you? 
to the Win Quick app? First and foremost, what drew me to the Win Quick app was the simplicity of possibly winning money where you, based off of whatever your uh, knowledge is about life and about the world, with the Win Quick app, it's a simple way to play a game, to put your, your trivia wisdom to the test and really, really see how smart you are. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I feel the design of it and how it came to be was one of those situations where you say, man, I wish we can come up with an app that kind of does the huge thing, but doesn't really take all that much to like create. And I think it's with our app here, man. Like I, 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 I can't wait till we launch because it's going to be so much traffic based off of people saying like you know when we kind of drop a hand as far as like okay categories dogs or categories movies categories science fiction categories music how many people are going to jump on because everyone wherever they are think they're the king or the queen in some category that we're going to announce you know what i'm saying and when you know what i'm saying so when you have an opportunity to win money like bro why not you know what i'm saying so hey, you can win, I've you been can telling win, these guys, you, they big gotta cash prize. Show. you guys got to get a stock show. I'm telling you, you want to see a show that everybody will get on stocks, bro. Bro, it's, it's You got the crazy, host bro. right here, man. Think about it. Think about it, Rich. Think about it, Rich. Whenever there's like, whenever, thank God we have a, a sports season and, yes. and just the back. When football came back, all my friends, everyone was like, yo, they started talking about sports betting and, yeah. you know, who, who you pick in and all this, that, and the third. Now, that's just sports. Now, you have a lot of people who aren't sports, but then a lot of people who may know everything about dogs. That's right. Uh, movie buffs like myself, Ooh. which, you know, as a host, I can't wait to be involved because, like, you know, when I was approached, um, you know, and I had the opportunity to, you know, help create and offer some insight based off of certain topics like i was getting excited to where i was like man i want to be i would never mind a host i want to be i want to be a participant yeah you know? because just the competitive edge that it brings rich is that you know it makes it it makes it competitive and we all want to compete and the the to compete in itself is a rush and a thrill but then the win there's nothing like winning. I mean, you. See, I mean, me. I mean, how many times have you watched the World Series of Poker? And even though they're all cool and they win a pot of money, you know they outside in the parking lot going nuts. Oh yeah. Here's, here's a hundred. So we're gonna be we're gonna be um, doing a, a a an app that you get to compete with other people, but it's really competing with yourself on how smart you are. And how much do you really know? Because a lot of people will think they know stuff, but it's like, no, nope, that's not quite it. Because you know, I mean, have you, you watch Jeopardy, and when someone's real confident, and they got the answer, and it's wrong. Like, ah, ah, nope, I'm sorry, it was in Italy. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm a mess, bro. <laughs> My favorite show growing up is Family Feud, man. I still watch the reruns. Bro, I love Family Feud, man. But that's that's what's great about that, and what what I love. What's great about Hollywood, and being an being an entertainer, and an actor, and an athlete, you know, is that competitive edge. We all have some competitiveness in us. Okay, so when you have that, where it's like we have an opportunity to go on a show, and compete, and what have you, having this right in the palm of your hand, is genius. It's genius, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm really, really excited to be a part of like something that I feel is going to take off, man, because, you know, having myself on it and my fan base and the other, and the other hosts that are also involved, we're going to like really get the word out there quick. Oh, yeah, and, of course. You know what I'm saying? So when people start to kind of catch on and then all of a sudden they're like, you know, Mike's telling John and John's telling Steve and Steve's telling Nancy and Nancy's telling Amy, it's like, Oh my God, I want X amount of dollars on like when the, the win quick app, you know, I was just like, yo, this is a go. 
I couldn't say I couldn't say yes fast enough, Rich. Now I've had other Win Quick hosts join me here on Rich TV Live, and you might be the most versatile out of all of them. So if I'm a, am I correct? If I'm saying that your initial shows will quiz your viewers on at least five different topics, ranging from movie quotes to Star Wars to lyrics. And if so, how can you be an expert in so many genres and why those genres? Well, here's the thing. There's, there's so many, there's so many different, you know, races, cultures, people with certain likes, people who uh, have special likes and things that they have a special interest in. And, and I feel one of the things about our app is it speaks to everyone, okay? Now, my dad, growing up, he didn't like baseball, he didn't really care for basketball too much, but he loved boxing, he loved football, he was great with cars, and he was also in the military. So when you can relate to a person, then they also, when, when, when you can relate to a person, it automatically makes them feel included. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, so they, you feel what I'm saying? So when, when, when you can relate to a person, they feel to where it really, really pushes them to say, I want to be involved. And then when you, then when you offer a category that they can relate to, and then they, that happens when a person wins something, they get excited. They want to talk about the win. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a vote of confidence and a, and a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of like that little gravitas, like, yeah, man. Yeah, I won. You want to show your trophy off. So in a way it's almost like, Hey, I played this new app, you know, you know, the, this win quick app and I, I made X amount of dollars. Now, a lot of people don't get rewarded for being the smartest in the room sometimes, or, you know, everything about baseball, you know, everything about plants, you know, everything about sneakers and, when you give that to them, right? So when you give that to them, then all of a sudden it's just like, holy crap, they're having a contest or a trivia game on Star Wars. That it's not just like, you know, a Disney like game, like little funny game where you win like some tickets to go to Disney and go, you know, tour the, uh, tour the, the, the Star Wars planet, which would be cool. I haven't been yet, but an actual trivia game on a category that you love. So imagine, imagine, now you know, I'm not sure if you're familiar, Rich, but when you, when it's, was it, when May, May 4th? May the, May 4th. When May 4th hits, all right? When May 4th hits, all you see across Twitter and Instagram is Star Wars. May the fourth be with you. Oh, I didn't know that. See, so I believe it's May, I believe it's May 4th. Like it's like May the fourth, May the fourth. May the fourth. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. But the point that I'm trying to make, so I'll be on my Instagram or Twitter. That's all you see, right? Now imagine you do just a category on that on how many people Star Wars fans will be on that. Okay. Huge. Even with uh, <laughs> uh, my, my, my producer and friend, Amber, was like, I didn't even understand or know that there are plant people who are like really into plants that <laughs> like, we just found a whole new species of plant that can talk that, that's not like, you know, a little shop of horrors. You know, not much like that, but so many things that are out there that we didn't know. So, so even us as hosts and as producers, that what we we're finding out new stuff. We're finding out new stuff. So when you have that, Rich, it leads to other categories of greatness of things that we can talk about. What the one of the things that I love about this app is what it's going to do as far as bringing people together. Now sports is one of the things that that does that totally um, you so know is film, so is movies like people go to the movie theater everyone right. goes together right wherever someone can wherever they can find entertainment 
And like I said, being able to relate and connect, then all of a sudden people forget their problems. People forget that, you know, hey, I got, I got, I got mashed potatoes on the stove and they're burning up. People come together and say, hey, you know what, let's, let's do this. So this app wears a few different hats. It's a, it's a place where you can, you can get your competitive edge going. And second, it can, it can bring people together, okay? And then you can walk away having more knowledge than you did before in case, like, there are certain things you didn't know that you learned today. And, and then you can, you can win some money for the future, whether it, Christmas gifts or I want to put my kids in college or I want, to buy, I want to buy that new iPhone, you know what I mean? And I think that, you know, this, this app's going to be one of those things that people are going to be talking about. And us as hosts, you know, what, whether our followers or whatever projects we're working on, we can also share. And I look forward to connecting to a lot of my fans who, whether, you know, we, we set up special prizes or special, uh, the special things that are, I think will evolve as this app becomes bigger and um, where hopefully, depending on what project I'm on, you know, one of the prizes could be, you know, a set visit. Oh, wow. Set visit. Awesome. Those, are, those are things that we would do on charities where, um, you know, come to the set, meet, meet the cast, you know, have lunch with the cast, you know, tour the lot, depending on where we're, where we're shooting. And it's just... There's, there's so much potential here, Rich, and, and, and it's endless where we can go. Um, and it was just something that I just, I had to be a part of and I wanted to jump at. Now, I think that uh, Greg Clem was on the show and he said you guys are already casting new shows and expanding programming. Will you venture into other categories or host different shows? Um, well, yeah, I, th I feel that's the idea. You see what I'm saying? Because... Um, as we, as, we, as we start to learn as hosts and as we're developing different um, categories and different, um, just different aspects of the game, it's like when you're collaborating and you're coming up with things, new ideas will pop up. So it's like, okay, then we can do this or we can swap out and host different genres that we're not familiar like that I may not be familiar with and vice versa you know what I mean just to keep it fresh and keep it like you know new and and entertaining you see what I'm saying totally and I feel I feel me personally I've done a lot I've done a, a, a lot where um widening our uh categories and our reach is going to go really really far because I feel this thing has like a, like a, a, a Twitter or a TikTok or an Instagram, it can go international. You see what I'm saying? And when, I mean, think about it, man, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, those things are, those things are global. All right. Winning money just isn't here in this country. It's global. Totally. Okay. Knowledge, knowledge is constantly a thing that is acquired. I mean, we're learning every day. So I think with this app, not only are we going to be adding education and offering certain education, but being able to reach other places and, um, you know, and seeing, seeing, seeing where we can go, man. I mean, there was one, there was talk, there was talk of possibly having a kids division, you know, I mean, think about it, man. We're having based off of this year being so crazy and a lot of the kids, cause I have kids, a lot of the kids are doing school from home. You see what I'm saying? Um, and me having kids, you know, some of the other uh, hosts and producers have children. We do something for the kids and where we offer, in a sense, some, some trivia and stuff to where they can challenge themselves to win, let's say, stuff for school or, you know, uh, civil um monies or awards or grants or something towards education going to college and and so forth um i think that's really really important because it starts there 
You know what I mean? And if we can offer it in a game setting, but like a game to where you're challenging yourself, it's not just like a mindless game. This is going to, this, this, this app is going to require you to use your noggin. You see Absolutely. what I'm saying? Really going to have to really, really, really use your noggin and, and dig deep. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, and the more you play, the better you're going to get at that. That's just how, how I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love it. I'm really excited about seeing where this is going to go. And when the app launches this fall, whose game show will you play first other than your own? Um, I would definitely, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. I, okay. I would have to say, I would have to say the Hawk. I would have to say, I, I would have to say, I would want to play Michael Hawk's game because here's the thing. Growing up, I was a Boy Scout. Okay. I know a little bit about survival. All right. And, and Rich, my father also was a Green Beret, uh, Sergeant First Class. Um, he was stationed in, he was stationed at Fort Devens. And, you know, my dad, my dad taught me so much and, you know, Mike or Mr. Hawk, I, you know, you, you, I just want to make sure I know how I'm addressing him. Sergeant Hawk, I don't know. Colonel Hawk, I don't know. But uh, uh, Mike, uh, that category is so cool. But what I, know, what I know what else is so cool about his category, bro, is it's always good to learn how to make it out there in the world without a cell phone, without – certain resources that you're used to and what ends up happening because as a boy scout there was a lot of stuff that i did that you had to become really in tune with yourself on knowing how to survive and how to move out out there in the world with you know let's just say maybe just a knife or you know uh how to you know how to make a fire or how to stay warm and whatever. And also one of my best friends growing up, uh, Chris Melberg is also uh, in the special forces, which I'm hoping that he'll be on it. I mean, I'm like, when this all happens, you can follow each other on Twitter. When this all happens, I'm sure he's going to jump in there um, because the, it, it's important now. And, and, and one of the things about um, when the pandemic first hit, a lot of people made jokes or comments about, oh, it's about to become like The Walking Dead and uh, we got to learn how to survive and everyone's buying up all the stuff out of the grocery stores. And my boy, my boy Chris was like, you know what, whether that's true or not, it's, it's time for me to really, really teach my boys the environment. And if God forbid, if any craziness were to happen to know how to survive, but also to know how to help people who may not know how to survive. So we're, we're so, we're so blessed. What, one of the things rich about the, our app and our hosts is we have, we have, we have a dope writer. Our head writer, his name is Jamie Kaplan. And I mean, he worked on who wants to be a millionaire, Jeopardy, uh, CBS Sportsnet. So he knows how to make sure that we have the language to connect to the people going forward with an app like this and the global potential in which you can have, you got to make sure you cover all bases. And, and as a host, like just the different people that we're going to be working with and whoever else that we can like possibly invite. I mean, I would love to have a celebrity trivia. Uh, well, I mean, they always do like a celebrity or sports like uh, athletes or teachers, specific categories for uh, specific types as far as like maybe like special occasions or something, um, you know, kind of how the other game shows do. They usually have like, you'll have like athletes each other and so forth. And it's always fun, you know, raising money for charity. Yeah, like Celebrity Family Feud. They only bring Absolutely. celebrities on, stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think that stuff's great. That stuff is so, that stuff is so, so key. And the, the success, the success of this app, man. And so, I mean, you know, you can go to my Instagram, I am Poochal, and my Twitter, I am underscore Poochal, because before we launch, I'm going to be blasting. 
as a, as a, as a celebrity and as an actor and as a person of color and, and a connection to the people, like I'm going to be putting this out there because there's so much potential for people to win in all types of categories and areas. And, um, you know, and, and that connection with the people and the people to feel like they're being heard or what have you, uh, because there's no telling where it can go. You see what I'm saying? And I think, I think that's, that's important. That's important that, you know, we have that connection with the people to where they're having fun. They're having fun. And also if they feel like they ha they also have suggestions. I mean, I would love to hear what the people think. Um, and, you know, even when we, we launch uh, my, my Instagram is I am Poochal and my Twitter is I am underscore Poochal. Um, I would love, love, love to hear the people's thoughts and suggestions, which, you know, it's how you get better. And I think this, this situation here is, is about everyone getting better. You, you see what I'm saying? Getting better with knowledge, getting better with a, a, a look towards a positive and fun 2021. Because sometimes people be like, you know what? I just don't like sports. Okay. But what do you like? Um, I don't know. I like power tools. I like cars. And then when you have those options, it kind of, it, it settles a person and excites them at the same time. You know what I mean? And then it's just our jobs. It's our job as hosts to really drive it home and make sure that we make it fun and entertaining and people to, uh, the, the, to, to tune in. You know what I mean? So I'm so, so, so excited to be a part of this, man. And you know what? I can tell. And that's what I think is going to really drive this app. You know, I've been in interviewing so many celebrities from Clickstream and the WinQuick app. Super excited to have you on the show today. Super excited to be able to watch you evolve as a celebrity, as an actor, and as a host on the WinQuick app. And I'm very excited to see this launch go off and see how everything is going to come together. I think it's going to be a huge success. Our entire community all over the world will be watching. If you guys are watching all over the world from home, smash the like button, subscribe, and go and follow Pooch Hall all over social media. And make sure that you guys go and download and get this app when it launches. It's going to be one of the hottest things out there. Pooch Hall is involved. Rich TV Live is involved. So many other celebrities are involved. Stay tuned. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with our special guest, Pooch Hall. Thank you for joining us today, Pooch. Big Rich, I appreciate you, man. Hit me up anytime, my guy, and make sure I'm following you as well. So, Rich, thank you so much for having me. Let me just give you a rundown real quick of the hosts that are going to be involved again. Josh Dobbs, he's doing out of space, 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 space. Jordan Adino, Food in Hollywood. Amber Theo Harris, my girl. She's doing uh, the Bible, toys, Greek mythology, casino games, and comics. Brian Bollinger, sports movies, travel, football. Howie Schwab, sports. There you have the rundown. This is your boy Pooch Hall saying peace. See you when I see you. Peace.